Hi everyone, and welcome to Disc Golf Valley uh, Tips and Tricks. And today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the next course. Uh, where are we at? Let's check it out. Challenge the Valley, and uh, we have finished Harrowing Woods, and so now we are on Crow's Nest. This is a fun course. I really like this course. And uh, But before we uh, start uh, taking a look at it, I want to go to our collection. And you can always go to your collection, the little button at the top of the screen. We're going to make some changes here. Um, since in our last uh, lesson we acquired the fuse, I am more comfortable working with the fuse than I am with the sway. So I think I'm going to retire the sway, even though we had to buy that disc. <laughs> I don't feel bad about that. We wouldn't have gotten this far this quickly without that sway in our bag. But now that we have the fuse, the fuse, I feel, is just a little bit straighter. It doesn't have any fade to it at all, unless you're going maybe... 60, 65 meters, it might fade just a hair, but it is really a straight shooter. And I've learned just how far you need to pull it back. I found the Sfei, uh, when you get some distance up to 30 meters, you have to pull it down a little bit more or it hits the rim. And so I'm just uh, happy to have arrived at the point where I've got my throw in disc back again. So we're going to retire the Sfei and that opens up a slot. And we don't really need this Explorer. It's a nice accurate extra turn, but we've got the extra glide uh, Explorer, so we really don't need that. So we open up three uh, slots in our bag and I think we can now pop in the new discs that we just purchased. And if you didn't happen to watch our last video on how to acquire discs, you may not know what we did there. Let's just go back. I'll show you what we did. We went to the Pro Shop, and one of your options there, in one of the packs that you can get, is the Summer Pack for 2023. And there you get a wonderful distance driver, arrive driver, that has the roll attribute. And that's really what we've been missing in our bag, is to have a long distance driver that just lands the, you know, just sticks the landing. That's what you really need. And um, so now that we've made that purchase, we have that in our bag. And the 14 speed is a great distance driver that uh, actually goes just a little bit further before it hits the ground and so that's nice to have in your bag as well and then the 11 speed extra glide accurate i believe it's a grace yes and uh, that is just a wonderful disc to have in your bag as well so it's a good pack to pick up uh, as we are swiftly going through our three star runs here i think what i found was happening is that uh, for those that aren't purchasing discs they're going to be leveling up uh, a lot more as they get their three stars. And so uh, if you're following a natural progression where you're really learning the game on your own and you're working with the free discs rather than buying discs, you're probably going to be at level 20, 21, 22 before you get for very far down on Challenge the Valley. And so you'll have access to these long distance drivers before you start hitting the courses where you really need them. But the way we're going about it, we're rapidly uh, going down the list here and very soon we're going to start reaching courses where it is going to be almost necessary to have some of these good distance drivers in order to get the three stars. So that's why I recommend getting another pack. I know it's another seven eight dollars but uh, it will really help you quickly go through these learn how to play these courses and uh, so that uh, when you go to play the daily challenge and when you go to play the season multiplayer games you'll already be familiar with all these courses and you'll be able to be very competitive as you play those multiplayer and daily challenges that's what we're after we're 
trying to help you get a jump start so that you can become very competitive on all of these courses very quickly. And the best way to do that is to just buy some discs. So with some brand new plastic in our bag, let's go take a look at Crow's Nest. In the practice mode, we'll go to round, find our Crow's Nest, and uh, hopefully show you some lines that will help you get your three stars. First couple of holes are quite easy, and um, we, for the first couple of holes, we'll just use our fuse. Now, when you get uh, a little further down the road, you'll probably pick up some five speeds that go a little further. The fuse doesn't quite make it, and I usually like to put a little hyzer on it to bring it a little closer to the basket. But uh, you'll eventually get some five speeds that go a little further and bring you right up to the basket and park it. All right, but as far as getting your three stars, it's no problem to pick up your birdies on these. Um, you can probably just hold up just a little bit. Don't have to bring it all the way down. It'll make it there. And uh, no danger of going over the other side. Like you would with some other discs. Next hole, and uh, okay, here we start to get into some interesting holes here on uh, Crow's Nest. Let's switch to backhand, and let's go for our PD on this one. And uh, we can, I don't know if you can see, there's a little rock in the middle of the river there. If you just uh, point above that a little bit, and with the two speed going from left to right, We'll probably want to put just a little bit of a hyzer on this. And the idea is to swing around this bank and land in the little landing area there and uh, get ourselves an eagle. Now, if you're just starting to learn Crow's Nest um, and maybe you don't have a 10 speed yet, you'll probably feel more comfortable laying up on the... Um, Let's maybe use our 7-speed uh, over to the right here. <laughs> and uh, then go over to the basket. And uh, with a little skill, you should be able to pop this in maybe 50% of the time, depending on the wind conditions. And uh, let's see if we can do it today as we demonstrate this. And uh, then you at least, oh, it's still an eagle. <laughs> yeah, right. So you can get an eagle both ways, um, but the, uh, the better chance that you have of not only getting an eagle, but a possible uh, ace is to go uh, backhand and use your 10 if you have it. And what I would recommend is in the practice mode, uh, set your start to hole three and then you can play this over and over again so that you can learn just how much hyzer you need to put on it for any given wind conditions and uh, that will help you because if you don't get enough hyzer on it you end up in the lake and it costs you points and you get behind everybody else so I recommend spending some time on this so that you too can get birdies, I mean eagles, and uh, um, you can work on what you need to do to get that ace as well. All right, here we are, hole number four. And uh, we've got a nice nasty wind to work with here, but let's see what we can do. It's fairly easy to birdie this, uh, but it's also a potential eagle if you get the right kind of bounce. Uh, let's go for our Zeus and see if we can't get that. And uh, let's put our pointer somewhere between these two clouds, bring it down to a, a full hyzer, and uh, bring that disc right around the cliff that we got going here. And I don't know. Well, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can see the basket. No, we can't see the basket. But let's go ahead and play this through so you get an idea of, of how you need to play this. 
if you can't see the basket, um, the basic goal is just to get up the hill there where the basket is resting. And uh, you can do that with our pure. And let's just bring it over quite a bit. We've got a strong wind we're working with here. And uh, if you do this right, you will also be able to get the basket, get it in the basket. But let's see what we do today. Uh, not quite. But uh, this gives us, like I say, a fairly easy birdie. And let's play it again, see if we can't get that uh, eagle I was telling you about. Clear shot of the basket again, but a nasty wind to deal with. But that's kind of what we're looking for, for a nice eagle. All right, this is a, a fairly strong wind that we're trying to work with. You know, actually, when the wind is this strong and it's in this direction, you have a pretty good chance, if you have the right distance driver, you have a pretty good chance of making your eagle by coming in the back door. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but um, you can just slide around and point up. And it's good to slide over so you're not in danger of hitting that uh, signpost. And then we'll go for uh, maybe our windbreak rive would be a good one for this so it doesn't bounce off the cliff. And then just put a full Anheuser on it and hope that it makes it up over the ridge and down. <laughs> well, hopefully be not too much behind a tree. Hopefully we'll be able to see the basket. Yeah. And uh, we use our fuse to come back. Watch out for that wind. It's a 12 meter, so should be okay to point it about there. And in we go for an eagle. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you try that maybe when you're in competition. Some guys do. I shouldn't say just guys. Some people do. I know that there's a lot of gals out there <laughs> that uh, love this game as well. Um, but um, it's also quite easy to not make it and uh, fall into the abyss and lose points and get behind everybody else. So it's almost better to, um, you know, take the birdie rather than get a bogey or a double bogey because you've you've missed your mark. So I, I would recommend you just practice that and see if you can get it with one of the discs that you have. And uh, if you become very confident in your aim and uh, various wind conditions, that you might want to put that move into your playbook. All right, hole number five, and uh, if this is the first time that you're playing this hole, uh, you will probably get your new longest drive because the basket is just way down in the valley there and uh, your disc is just going to float all the way down there. And uh, you would think, uh, with the basket being 195 meters away, that you'll need to pull out a you know, nice distance driver to make it to the basket, but that is not the case. Um, you see the computer is suggesting that uh, you use your west side but we know from experience that that is just way too much disc I think um, with that three speed we'll try the 10 and I usually I aim it right above this tree here and with the wind going that strong in that direction I think I'll just pull it straight down and hope for the best Hopefully we won't hit any trees on the way down. And come up fairly close to the basket there. For our eagle. Here's a, a two wind in the opposite direction. So um, with that, let's grab our tent again, point it to the same tree just above it. And this time, to compensate for the wind in that direction, we're going to put a little bit of an Anheuser on this. 
so that it goes off to the right before it comes swinging back and down the hill. And that might have been too much of an Anheuser, but I think we'll be okay. For another birdie. But I would recommend you spend some time practicing this because um, if you're not careful, you're going to um, end up getting a par on this or maybe even a bogey as you're going for your three-star run if you're not really familiar with it and what can happen. All right, let's move on. Here, um, you can pull almost any disc for this. Um, sometimes the stronger ones that bounce uh, might give you a better chance at acing this, but the idea is just to point it up against this wall here and put a strong hyzer on it have it bounce off that wall and down towards the basket. And toss it in for your birdie. I don't know if there's anything else I can show you on that. Maybe try it one more time with a different disc. Let's maybe use our 11 just to show you that it doesn't really matter what disc you use. It's just going to be an easy birdie. I've noticed some people complaining that there's too many holes that are just too easy to get your birdie. <laughs> All right, here's an interesting hole. Uh, when people first start playing this, especially if they've watched the drone flight, which takes you around to your right, they'll try that and um, kind of be satisfied with the birdie that they get. But... Um, you can get a fairly easy eagle on this hole if you come in around through the left and put a forehand on it and let's maybe use our rive disc with the roll attribute and put your pointer I would say just a little bit below the basket and off to the left a little bit and uh, you should be able to just pull straight back and maybe even put a little bit of a what is that? Anheuser on it. And that will swing around. And because it has a roll attribute, it's not going to go off too far. Now we're shooting downhill, so we need to compensate for that. But I would still aim it like you usually do. Center the basket. But just don't pull it down quite as far. And that should go in. Let's, let's try that again, and this is another one that you should practice to start getting comfortable with coming in the back way. Say so maybe come out just a little bit more. You don't want to come out too far because then you won't uh, it won't swing around enough. But with this one speed condition, I think we'll be okay just pulling it straight back. I want to try and get a little bit further uh, before it starts to turn there, and then you do have a little bit of a chance of acing this, and it's nice to pick up an ace here. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a fairly easy eagle. Hole number eight. Um, you could use your 10 here, uh, the PD. Um, but in order to get a little closer to the basket, maybe we'll use our 11 disc and just put your aimer right, um, a little bit, not quite center, but just a little bit off center of the actual cave there. And, um, uh, when you're pulling it back, maybe just a little bit of a hyzer on it, just so you start to see the edge of the disc there and that should go in. That could have gone a little, a little bit cleaner, but I think we'll still be able to get this. Uh, let's try that again and see if we can't Oops. get that a little cleaner. Um, now we've got the two wind 
in the other direction, so I think we'll still be fine pointing it right where we did last time, and it should go in this time. Huh. And that gets you up there. I want to get one clean entry. Let's try it one more time. Uh, maybe we'll use the 10 speed and uh, show you that that works as well. I need to learn where it is. And that was a little better. And the 10 speed puts you in good position as well. Okay, last hole. And uh, when I first started playing <laughs> Crow's Nest, I always had trouble with this one. Again, I wasn't playing with very good discs. Um, I hadn't purchased any discs, and so I was just working with the discs that came naturally. And I just didn't have anything that qu could quite make it. Or at least I didn't know how to do it. But now that you've got some good discs in your bag, we can uh, we could use the 11 here and uh, let's point it over to the left turn it to backhand and put your pointer you almost see like a green spot there where the snow hasn't covered the grass and uh, put a little bit of a hyzer on that and it should come around and usually stop. If you land it on this little ledge, it usually sticks. They've designed it in such a way that it's not going to bounce off and, and into the chasm. Um, so that's nice. Just as long as you can land on the ledge, you should be good. But then the idea is to take your fuse and uh, throw it in for a nice eagle. Doesn't always happen. And you do seem to have to bring it down just a little bit more than you normally would for 56 meters. And I might even bring it down to what would normally be 60 meters. And let's see if it makes it. No, it wasn't <laughs> even uh, down far enough. Let's try it again. Oh, first of all, let's, let's get our birdie. And that's what you usually get on this hole. But it's always nice to try for the eagle. I think the pros get the eagle almost every time, but I seem to struggle. All right, let's let's do the eleven again, and uh, again bring it over to the grass, hit the backhand, and a little bit of a hyzer. Now I like it when it hits the this little wall here because then it comes down. A little closer to the basket sometimes. Looks like we're about the same as last time. So this time, I sometimes put it over just a little bit. For some we, for some reason, it tends to drift to the right. And uh, then let's bring it back just a little bit more than the second line. And now it won't drift. <laughs> Okay, but you get the idea on the line that you need to um, try for that eagle, uh, but it'll almost always get you a birdie. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, some good tips on the crow's nest and uh, recommend you practicing this one and uh, then go for your three stars. And uh, if you want to see how I get the three stars, be sure and come back for our next video uh, when we uh, do the three star run. We'll see you then. So long for now.